Wake the fuck up, bitch. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Aaron Wazow TV coming to you with another video, you guys. I'm on point. Now, this particular video, you guys, and I want everybody to uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe to my channel, you guys. You don't want to miss this content. Um, I'm going to be doing weekly, weekly videos. Before I get into the next video, before I tell you what the next video is going to be, you guys, um, I want to thank all of my new subscribers that have subscribed to my channel. Um, the people that saw me on um, TTV Network that kind of came from over there to subscribe for my channel. I want to thank y'all. I want to thank all, all of my, whether you came from over there, whether you came from another, another um, YouTuber, whatever the case. Thank you, thank you, thank you to my new subscribers. I love you. I want everybody to keep, keep commenting. I don't care whether it's negative um positive or in between i love constructive criticism put down always comment on every video i want to see your comments so i could like i always like it i always comment back so make sure y'all keep commenting on every video okay all right now let's get into this video guys um this this video in particular is going to be like a response video, something like that, unless you've been under a rock, that um, there's a show that's on Vogue, you know, that the celebrities, um, you know, go on to talk about their probably top 20, top 10 iconic looks from their um, entire career, um, over the span of their entire career. So uh, they had Lady Gaga, who is one of my favorite artists. I went to see Lady Gaga, I think in 2015, I think. I think it was 2015 or 2017. Whenever the Joe Ann era was rolling around in the tour. I went to her Joanne tour and she was phenomenal. That was literally on my bucket list to see Lady Gaga in concert and I did that. And when I tell you, I've loved Gaga ever since she came out. You know, when everybody was like, who is this blonde bitch? Like a lot of people who thought that she was gonna be a flash in the pan. I did too, no shade. But y'all already know how that ended up. That was a total BS. Long story short, Gaga went on this uh, went on this platform, Vogue, because you know she's she uh, she actually uh, got two covers in Vogue, one for the British and one for Italian. So she went on there to discuss her most iconic looks. Now. I sat down and watched that particular video, and I will have to say that I was utterly disappointed. I was actually like insulted. I was actually insulted for Gaga because when she opened to look at those pages of those looks, I was like, hmm, why is that doing there? I mean, you could have switched that look for this look. Like I was, the wheels were spinning in my head as I was watching that particular video. And I just decided to actually come up with, you know, my own top, I don't know how many, I don't know how many looks that I've chosen, but it's probably more than, uh, it's probably more than 20. But I'm going to just give y'all my list of iconic Lady Gaga looks. So, guys, I literally pulled up, I literally pulled up some iconic, iconic Lady Gaga looks that 
You cannot leave out. I don't care how much of a Lady Gaga fan you are and you think that these looks probably is is not really iconic, but it's it's literally a staple in her career. And it's actually, some of these looks are like constantly being recreated. I'm gonna go from the fame to all the way till now. That's what I'm gonna do. Some of her iconic looks from the fame to now. I'm gonna go in like this, okay? So the first one that I have is this VMA look. That VMA look. <laughs> and not only that look, but this as well. Now, how can you leave both of these iconic looks out of like Gaga's like iconic looks? These looks were iconic, okay? Shit, if, okay, if you were to replace one of them, you could replace one of these looks for actually this. Vogue. How can you forget this? She is practically wearing Kermit the Frog, the most iconic puppet of them all. You're leaving this masterpiece out of the lookbook? Are you serious? Get it together, get it together, Vogue. Now, as I was going through the videos, I don't know who chose these looks on the Vogue team, but Vogue decided to choose this look for this, from her uh, telephone, from her telephone video. They chose this look. Which is, you know, not saying that the look is bad or anything. The look is not bad. But the telephone video has so many iconic looks. Vogue, how can you forget about the cigarette glasses? How can you forget? And I say this with all ounce of passion in my heart. How can you, Vogue, the people at Vogue, I am speaking directly to you. How can you forget this iconic look that has been recreated several different times? It's literally on YouTube. You can literally pull it up that people are literally rocking cigarette glasses. Who is literally recreating this look? No BS? Out of all the looks in that video, this is one of the most iconic, okay? This is one of the most iconic looks. Not only that, y'all gonna pay the caution tape dust? Are you serious, Vogue? Are you serious? You y'all picked the American flag over the cigarette glasses and the caution tape. Really? Really? But let's not get ahead of myself because I really wanted to specify that because it really did piss me off that they chose one look from the telephone video where there were several different looks from that video. But those, these two stuck out the most. No shit. Also, let's get back on the fame era because I did jump ahead, okay? First of all, I think I did jump ahead because I think, wasn't uh, the VMA looks, 
that was totally after the thing. Well, that the thing monster and the fame is like coincide, so I think I did all right. Let's go to the fame. All right, you guys. How can Vogue literally, literally forget these? How can they forget these? Please tell me, Vogue, how can you forget these? I don't know, somebody in the back office needs to be fired. How can you forget about these iconic looks? This look right here, this look right here, okay? Where she started the tour. She started the performance with this. Y'all, y'all, y'all have saw those videos on YouTube with her posing, posing like this with a, with, with that barricade thing or something that people, that people were behind those things to make like a, 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 like a dress or something like she was in some type of circus stuff i don't know what it was but it was iconic because she started off the performance like that and she was singing paparazzi okay she was singing paparazzi with this on matter of fact if I'm not mistaken, she had this freaking outfit on through the whole entire tour. Because, uh, you know, that's when she was, like, broke. And she only had, she had to recycle several different outfits because, you know, she was broke. But we all know about this outfit. Okay? We all know about this outfit from the uh, fame, from the fame era. Oh, and did y'all also forget... That everywhere Lady Gaga went, what did Lady Gaga have in her hand? Now, the monsters know, but y'all got about three seconds before I say it. Three seconds. Ah! A teacup. A teacup. Girl, are you serious? Are you serious? Vogue, how can you forget one of her most iconic accessories? Which is, which completed her look. Because the fame era was heavily, was heavily introduced to the masses with a teacup. With a teacup. We got introduced to Gaga with the hood, teacups, hair bows. Y'all didn't put none of that in there. Okay? Hell! There's another look y'all forgot. What about the bubble dress? Did anybody forget that? Did anybody forget the bubble dress? One of her most, most iconic Iconic, iconic looks. The bubble dress and the bubble piano. Vogue, you need your 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 Gaga card revoke. You're not a monster. No shade, y'all are not a monster. Vogue, get it together. Y'all forgot about the bubble dress? Really? Anyway, let's keep it moving. Mm. But not only that, not only that look, but y'all also had this look right here. The origami dress. That when, and she had several, she had one in black and she had one in white. And she always took off the skirt and she had her leotard. So she could really, really get down. Guys, like, ugh, it's so many looks. 
There's so, so many looks. Here's the thing, you guys. It really pissed me off that the only tour outfits, the only tour outfits that Vogue had of her was the Art Pop Ball outfit. They didn't have no other tour outfit from Gaga's past. Tours. Only the art pop bull outfit, which in my opinion is not really iconic. And I can I think I could I think I can positively speak for the monsters that that outfit from the art pop ball is really not iconic. The octopus, the octopus thing with the, it's not iconic, sweetie. No shade to Gaga, but it really was iconic. We, I can give you some, some iconic outfits from her tour. Exhibit A, the living dress. How can you forget about that, Vogue? The living dress? Iconic. How about the, the the jacket from the Monster Ball era? Really? She starts off the tour with this. I want y'all to let me know what song do she start off the tour with in this outfit. Put it into the comments. That is iconic okay this is iconic and you know what let's give vogue some more iconic tour looks because since they want to only choose one of her tour looks that is really not even iconic really let's do some more how about the government hooker one that's iconic Another iconic tour look. The Bloody Mary. Scream! Ga ga dun da da. Ga ga dun da da. Ga ga dun dun da da da. Dun dun da 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 da. Dun dun da da da. That's this is an iconic look from her tour. Not that, no shade to Gaga and her team, but that our pop bullshit is not iconic. Anyway, you know what? Let's let me let me serve you up something that was iconic on the uh, on the uh, the our pop bowl uh, tour. What outfit? What outfit was iconic is this. In my opinion, this was iconic. Not only this, but this. Even though I didn't like it when she introduced it. <laughs> I could just say I don't like that wig. Even though I don't like the wig, it fit. It fit. The whole outfit, it fit. You can't have one without the other. But that's a more iconic look. You know, and I still remember it to this day that she performs applause in this. She, she performs applause, and I think she performs, what was this um, song? Swine. I think she performs swine, applause, and um, I want to say Venus, but I don't want my Gaga card revoked. But if you want to choose an, an iconic R-Pop bull, 
I'll help you out. I'll help you out. I will help you out, Vogue. All right? Anyway. And then, wait, I think they even like picked somewhere where she was um, going to the airport or going somewhere. They, I think they was picking um, like streetwear. Like she was just walking down the street and this is what she was wearing. First of all, in my opinion, nothing is more iconic. When I tell you, I still remember this dress till this day because when she wore it, it caused a freaking frenzy. And I and when I put this picture up, all the monsters are going to gag. Guys, are y'all gagging? Monsters, I'm talking specifically to the monsters. Do y'all remember this dress? Do y'all remember looking on YouTube for the video? And when she walked out, she gave very much the queen is here. I am here to slay the kids. I am here to like desecrate on y'all land. And y'all will love it. I remember it was a pandemonium when she came out that airport. And wore this. There's nothing you can say. There's no outfits, in my opinion, that can touch this from the airport, guys. I'm talking specifically from the airport. This outfit shuts every one of them down. Now, if y'all can challenge me, I want y'all to put down in the comments what iconic airport look is more iconic than this. I want to challenge the monsters. If y'all can find a more iconic airport look, then y'all will have me gagged, okay? Anyway, let's also, there's some iconic looks from her acting. Vogue missed the mark. Vogue missed the mark. Okay. On like when she transitioned into actress. When Gaga became her most iconic, iconic and legendary self is when she transitioned from music on to acting. Vogue, how can you not include some of the red carpet looks that Gaga has not, not only slayed, but she literally, she, I'm sorry, I, I, I'm lost for words. How can you not include these looks that went into another step into her, into her career. How can you not include those? Well, you know what? I got it. Aaron Wiles, I got it. I'll give you, I'll give you three. Okay? Golden Globes. The Golden Globes. How can you forget about that? How you can forget about the Brandon Maxwell? She, when I tell you Hollywood glam at its finest, just looking at Gaga, bad, bad all around. This dress is iconic. How can you forget about the first viral moment of Gaga? 
when Gaga wore this, social media made it into a meme. Made it into several memes. It went viral. Oh, and don't forget that she looked like a pure, pure princess when she sung the sound of music in this. You gonna leave that out, Vogue? Really? I want whoever is at Vogue, I need their pink slip. I need their walking papers immediately. Immediately! Immediately! How dare you? How dare you? Not only that, dress. The dress. Oh my gosh. Um, the fan. I need a 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 fan. This dress is a staple in her career now. The model who wore it before her could never. Anybody that is wearing this after her could never. Vogue, I am literally looking at you with so much judgment and so much irritation that y'all did not include this I need a written letter. I need an email typed up, something sent to my inbox telling 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 me that y'all are going to do better next time. Okay? It just can't be at 20. When I tell okay, it could be 20, but it needs to be realistic. I need y'all to go over it several times, okay? I need y'all to go over it several times. Several times. Y'all forgot some of Gaga's most major looks. And this is one of them. This freaking flamingo dress. What that it <laughs> they soon as she came out and she swooned the girls. Gaga floated like a butterfly. She was every Disney princess that day. She looked so magical, majestic, so innocent, so poised, so regal. She was the mere sight of perfection. Calm Humbleness. All eyes was on Gaga when this, when she had on this dress. When I tell you, every media outlet could not, could not stop talking about Lady Gaga, who basically shut the whole freaking, shut the whole thing down. It was raining. It was thundering. They had they had to stay a power blew out on that night. When I tell you that was a magical night for Gaga. When I tell you the fans, her fans, little monsters, me included, I was literally in my house like this. I was giving yes, Gaga. Gaga left no crumb behind. Vogue, how can you leave that? How can you leave that out? It's, it's just a disrespect to her. It was just nasty. It was really just nasty to me. And, yeah. But, guys, that was all for... Um, it, 
for this video. It really needed to be said. I really had to make this video because that that video kind of teensy weensy irked me because I even know the monsters that I follow on Twitter. If you not follow me on Twitter, follow me on Twitter. <laughs> the blog monsters who have their own blog and you know blog about uh, Lady Gaga and give us info on everything. I follow so many of those monsters on uh, Twitter. When I tell you they was kind of offended. They were like, when I tell you we were really offended that that's all y'all chose. With, with Lady Gaga, sh you cannot. And when I tell you, you just, you just cannot just at 20. There's so many freaking iconic looks of Lady Gaga. Shit. Paparazzi. Paparazzi video. I kind of forgot about the How can I forget about the paparazzi video? Dumb Aaron. Paparazzi video. The Mickey Mouse outfit? If you want to throw a iconic Joanne outfit, hey, AMAs. I love this all white suit. She looked so sleek and so chic in this outfit. I can literally be here all day. Just giving y'all outfits after outfits after outfits, you guys. But I'm not going to do it. Because I don't want this video to be longer than it is. So what I'm going to have y'all do, please, please like, comment, and subscribe, you guys. Please click that notification bell to be notified when I upload a new video. Follow all of my social medias in the description below. See y'all.